What's going on, everybody? Good evening, good evening. Welcome to uh, another Dearborn Open Mic here at the National Arab American National Museum. Just get this out of the way real quick. How's everybody doing tonight? Good. It's very good to see you guys. Uh, some of the advice I get sometimes is um, I'm told to be myself, be yourself. It's a common thing they say. You know, I'm, I'm having trouble, it's hard, things are difficult. Uh, you know, I'm, uh, I'm having trouble fitting in, people don't accept me, so on and so on. Trying to get along with my family. And the advice is always be yourself. Uh, but sometimes when I be myself, um, I'm given another set of advice, which is something along the lines of stop that. <laughs> so, starts with be yourself. And then stop that. And I, and I have yet to figure out exactly where the line is between be yourself and stop that. And the advice comes subtle. It's not like, hey, stop that. It's um, usually a gesture of some kind. Somebody may say, you know, maybe I start talking a certain way or dressing a certain way and I get a little too comfortable. And the advice generally is something like maybe a nudge or a look or something like that. Rarely is it verbalized. When it's verbalized, the word I get is aib. They say, I, and they're nice about it, I understand, you know. I just don't, I still don't know what that means. I haven't yet figured out exactly what one means by I. What it means socially is I've crossed the social line, but I can't figure out what it is. So I ask, but I'm not sure. So when I was growing up, for example, um, we would go over to Azim. Let's say, usually, it was usually on a Sunday afternoon. Uh, and we go over to Azimi, go to folks' house, and when we walked in, um, I would sit down, and let's say if I took a seat, there was, um, let me see if I can remember one of the rules. One of the rules was, you, you have to stand until somebody sits down. So like, let's say somebody enters the room. We have to stand up, and then we stand, and then as far, from my perspective, for an indefinite period of time, until everybody sits. So everybody goes, and then I sit. But I always miss the cue. I don't know what, what the clue is that, that caused everyone else to sit down. It's like tacit, it's tacit, it's like secret. It's not really secret, I'm supposed to know what it is. And if I don't know what it is, I'm gestured to, like you're supposed to like sit down, you know? There was another one I remember also when I was sitting down. Um, sometimes I would raise my foot and immediately a gesture would come along to like not do that. So, it, And I, uh, I still don't know precisely, but I, so I was told, I was told that uh, in the Arabic culture or in, in some Eastern cultures, exposing the bottom of one's foot is aib. Um, but I still don't know why. I still don't know, I know it's aib, I know it's rude, but I don't understand why in some cultures it is and in some cultures it's not. So being yourself is difficult because I'm always on alert for uh, what it means to be oneself, at the same time, what it means to violate that rule somehow. So I'm still learning. So if anybody has any advice or any suggestions on that, I'd appreciate it. It's something I'm exploring, it's something I wanna learn, um, and it's something I really wanna get better at because I'm realizing that, you know, especially this day and age, uh, as we go on to speak our minds and speak one's mind, it's also important to keep these social rules in mind. Something funny is happening though in the 21st century. It's becoming harder and harder to communicate those rules because to get, we're not really having much of a communion together. A lot of the stuff that's going on is maybe in a, in a group chat or in a, a private meeting online or on social media. And there's less and less of gatherings like this where actual people actually get together in an actual space. And the Dearborn Open Mic uh, strives to facilitate that, to give us a space and opportunity to get together and be here. So please make some noise. We welcome you. Thank you guys for coming. Really appreciate you having here. We're here every third Wednesday of the month at the Dearborn Open Mic English program. There's an Arabic program that is every first Wednesday of the month. English program is here, third Wednesday of the month. And I'm your host, uh, Yusuf al Qamusi, or as uh, my stage name is, Wordman. I come to the stage to be myself. You know, I, right now I'm not acting. I don't act on stage. I, I'm on stage to be myself. In public, I'm acting. When I'm in, in traffic, I'm acting. When I'm in line at the grocery store, I'm acting. Or again, when I'm a guest at someone's house, there's a certain de decorum or a demeanor that I have to put up. But here I get to be myself. Today I'd like to invite a member of our community, 
uh, to also join me in being himself. I, um, there's something that uh, happens to me every once in a while. This is a true story. I'll be like sitting at home eating cereal, I don't know, Frosted Flakes. You know the story about the Frosted Flakes, you know? I'm at home downing Frosted Flakes most of the time uh, by myself. And sometimes I'll, um, I'll just be interrupted by a thought. Something hits me. Abdullah's the mayor. <laughs> Abdullah's the mayor. It just hit suddenly, you know what I mean? I'll be driving, I'll be in traffic, and I'll just be going through, and I'm somewhere on Michigan Avenue trying to figure out how, what, what the maze of the day is in the city, trying to get from point A to point B. And I'll pass by City Hall, and I'll go, Abdullah's in there. You know, we know him as Mayor Hamoud, we know him as uh, former state rep, Abdullah Hamoud, but... Uh, I remember him as Abdullah, and I'm very grateful to Abdullah because he always corrects me. I remember one time he came to speak in my classroom. I was a teacher at Fortson High School, and he came uh, uh, to speak to our students. And I invited him up, and as he walked in, I said, you know, uh, it's nice to see you, Abdullah. At that time, I believe you were either running or had gotten the position as, uh, as a state rep. So I walked up and said, you know, uh, Rep Abdullah Hamoud. He said, call me Abdullah. Same thing happened uh, another time as he was the mayor, Mr. Mayor, call me Abdullah. So I call him Abdullah, and I know him as Abdullah. I'd like to introduce you to Abdullah if you don't know him. Uh, he's someone I've known for many years and someone I really enjoy uh, talking to and getting to know. So what I'd like to do is just have a little bit of time with uh, the mayor of the city, uh, Abdullah Hamoud. Abdullah, can you join me on stage, please? <laughs> 